All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a little Hello World program in pass to js or Pascal to JavaScript. This is a Pascal compiler that takes your Pascal code and converts it to JavaScript. Uh, it's referred to as a JavaScript transpiler. And uh, this is brought to you by the same people that uh, put out the free Pascal and uh, Lazarus compilers. And uh, I've reached a point where I think it's good enough to do small programs, but it is a little tricky getting started. It took me a while to figure things out. There's a large amount of code, but not a lot of useful code just yet. Um, so I've started out by doing smaller test programs just to get the feel of it. And I think I got enough to do, a, again, small basic uh, graphics and maybe some games, some puzzle games uh, in a way that I'm accustomed to, which is using Pascal code. So I will show you uh, this bit of code right here. Uh, we have the Pascal code and we have the HTML code. You need both of these uh, in order to compile uh, a program using the pass to JS compiler. And this is the command line you pass to it. Now, before you do all that, you need to download it. There's instructions here for downloading the, uh, the current uh, version and uh, and I'll leave that to you. It's basically you just uh, download the zip file and uh, uncompress it to a folder. I'll show you where mine is located. So it's in my development folder and it's right here. It's uh, I put it under pass 2 js 206 so I know what version I'm using. And right underneath the path uh, to that is your bin folder and you have the uh, Win32 folder, and that's where the compiler is located. You have to put this in your path, and uh, here, let me show you mine so you can see what I've done. So if we bring up system properties, you go into your environment variables, and under system variables, you go into your path here, edit, and it's right here. So if you look here, it's in the same folder that I just showed you right here. So you got to make sure you add this. So whatever yours is, whether it's C or D, make sure you, you copy this. And uh, that'll match along what I'm trying to show you here. So let's get out of all this. And if we drop to the command prompt, I'm in my uh, little demo one folder. And if I do a directory, you can see I have those two files that I just described. And if I type pass to JS, we see the uh, the compiler information here, 206. And I didn't specify any files to compile, so that's why it's giving me the error message there. But um, let's go ahead and see what happens if we just try to view the HTML file, hello.html. So if we go here to our browser, we refresh, nothing happens. And uh, if we... Um, inspect here we see that nothing has really uh, appeared so what I'll do now is go back into Visual Studio Code and uh, here's our program again and it uses the browser console uh, unit here and this is very important um, so when you first start off, if you didn't read the instructions on the wiki uh, and just use this, you'd be surprised to find out that 
it actually doesn't work uh, the way you expect. So if we do so a compiled and if we do a directory we got our JavaScript file and if we do we can see that it created something here. So this is uh, the compiled JavaScript. So let's go back to our browser now and refresh. And if we refresh, we still don't get anything. And that's because I didn't specify the additional command line options that were in the wiki. So I didn't specify this part right here. So I didn't specify this command line switch. So I'll redo it again. And this time, um, I have a, a badge file. I call it PJS, Pascal to JavaScript, that adds that command line for me. If we take a look here, it just did that. And if we come back to our browser now, if we hit refresh, we can see the hello world. And if we open up the uh, the inspect elements here, we can see the the hello world is right there. Uh, we also see it in the uh, console tab here. So it's important that you actually do both. Otherwise, uh, you're not going to get any output on the screen. Now, just to go a little further than the hello program, I want you to show you that it actually works just like your regular Pascal compiler. And um, we're going to create uh, a unit. Uh, let's call it. Uh, unit uh, test one. I'm going to save this as test one dot pass. Okay, so I will create a small procedure called write something. Okay. All right, so this is the minimal amount I think I could put in a unit. And if we go back to our hello, I will include test one. And let's see if I got all this right. Uh, it should compile. And let's do that again. And it looks like it did uh, test one not using hello okay good so what I need to do is call that procedure in my main program this is something you normally do with your units so uh, so after it prints right uh, after it prints hello world it should print write something or it should print whatever I have inside which is something from test unit okay and uh, let's try this again and everything compiled 
So let's go to our browser again. Each time you compile, you have to do a refresh. And there we go. So this time it it executed what we have in our unit. So hello world and uh, whatever we have in our test unit. So it, it works just like your regular Pascal compiler. And uh, that's all I wanted to show for this video. But the interesting stuff is actually all the things I discovered with the canvas, mouse, and keyboard input, which is a little difficult to find uh, how to use in the uh, in the source codes of the demo program. Some of them included uh, don't even compile, and some of it used an old method of accessing uh, bits of JavaScript uh, that are no longer used or depreciated. So I'm going to show you the uh, the current methods of using those uh, and using the Mozilla documentation to basically cut and paste and convert to uh, the Pascal versions of those uh, example programs. So that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.